Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update on the Chanel bags that I purchased from Fashion File. By the way, if you can hear that loud noise in the background, it is my air conditioning. I can't turn it off because it's very, very hot. So anyways, I really thought that I needed to do an update video because a few things have happened to my Chanel bag that I think is really not expected when you purchase a Chanel bag. So I just want to make sure that you guys are aware of you know what you're potentially buying from fashion file so if you're interested in learning more about what happened to my chanel bag please keep on watching so i reviewed this um pretty chanel bag that i purchased from fashion file i was really excited to purchase this bag but a few things happened so after i purchased the bag about 24 ish hours later or so um the strap actually broke so i was out i was having lunch or something with my boyfriend and then um, i stood up and put my bag on and it just literally fell off my shoulder and at first it was like complete shock i was like no 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 that mm -mm, that didn't just happen and then my boyfriend because he was shocked because he knew that this was a big purchase he was just like what the and so he was like you need to call them and my concern was that i had already removed the pink tag so if you remember from my ver my first video if you remove the pink tag the bag is no longer returnable so i knew i loved the bag i didn't want to return it it was like the perfect bag for me but i wanted them to fix it because i felt like I just bought this bag. I wasn't using the bag in a way that you're not supposed to use the bag, right? So I wasn't being crazy with it, throwing it around. I literally put it on my shoulder and within 24 hours it fell off and it broke. And this bag was not cheap. Long story short, because it's a long story, I um, it was like, I think it was a weekend when that happened. So I had to wait until Monday for a live representative. I called uh, Fashion File and I was directed to a representative and I explained the same story to the representative and she was like, um, well, I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. You took off you took off the tag and we don't provide warranty on our bag, so you're basically shit out of luck. And I was like, listen, Susan. I don't know if her name was Susan. I was like, that's not how this is going to work. When you purchase the bag and you're not doing anything inappropriate to the bag and you put the bag on your shoulder and it breaks within 24 hours there's something wrong and i went into some legal talk and i was like i will be getting a refund or somebody will be repairing my bag and she refused you know sometimes representatives get an attitude and what i recommend is always going directly to the manager always so i said Susan, I need to speak to your manager. And she was like, well, no managers are here, so you have to call back in a few hours, whatever. So I called back in a few hours and I'm directed to a manager. I explained the situation. The manager completely understands because she looks at the time frame. She can see when the bag was shipped to the moment where the bag broke and she saw that it was in this 24 hour window. She also understood that it took off the pink thing. Um, and so she was like, I'll get back to you by the end of the day. So she emails me back and she basically says, okay, we understand what happens. So we are willing to give you a full refund, which is great. So, so that's the good part is when I escalated it to a manager, they were willing to give me back all of my money on the bag. But then I kind of wanted to keep the bag. I know that sounds weird, but I did. I loved the bag and I had a feeling that they were just going to repair it because what had happened is one of the stitchings on the leather part on the inside the string came off and then that's what happened so it was a pretty simple fix and so but yeah i figured what they're going to do is they're just going to repair it themselves and then put it back on their website so um, i told her no actually i just want a partial refund a reasonable amount i didn't demand any specific amount but i said that the amount that it would cost to repair is what I want because I'll go and I will go to repair shop. Now the manager was fighting me on this and like logically it made no sense. She was fighting me on this and I said, okay. So then I started asking questions, which is what I do. I said, do you guys put repaired bags on your website? 
and they do and it's funny because I don't see in the description where it says these bags have been like potentially broken before and then repaired I didn't see it but she said that they do um, so then I said well would you be repairing this um, and then posting it back on your website and she was like well that's up to the procurement team if they look at it and want to repair it then they might repair it they might put it on our outlet site or they might put it back on this site so then I said to her because it was an easy fix I said I'm almost 100% sure that your procurement team will go ahead and fix it so instead of paying for me to ship the bag and then on top of that paying to fix it right why not just give me the money you would pay to fix it and then in the long run you save money at least in shipping costs because you're not going to pay me to ship it back it was like it just made sense manager had initially said no she said no a few times no i wasn't asking for half the bag price so long story short because this is getting long i see i'm already at seven minutes now um she agreed so they gave me a partial refund then I researched luxury repair shops in my area I took it to them and I used the money that they refunded me to fix my bag <sighs> long story short so I have it now it's repaired um, and I love it it's still holding a lot of my stuff I use it every almost every day I actually purchased another bag from fashion file so I just I have mixed reviews so basically just know that when you're purchasing a bag like a Chanel or Fendi or whatever spending a lot of money just know that that bag can still break like it could literally the chain can come apart and they will not fix it for you I don't know how things would have been if it would have broken within 48 hours or even you know a week from the day that I received it I think it would have been a bigger fight you know but because it broke within the first 24 hours I think that's why I was given the option to do a full refund so just be careful because you're still even though this is a secondhand shop you're still paying so much money so I need you guys to know um, that if the bag breaks and it looks like they do break even something as good as a quality as Chanel you might not get your money back and you might have to repair it yourself and that would really piss me off if somebody reviewed a fashion file bag and didn't tell me this so I thought that I needed to update this video I needed to tell you guys I, I still purchased another bag from fashion file because I still do like the ability to be able to pay towards a luxury bag because uh, they did give me that refund I do respect that they did listen you know even though I had to fight and even though I had to use some legal terms, um, they still listened and they still gave me a partial refund. So purchase another bag that I will be reviewing that I've been carrying for like three weeks or so. So um, it has not broke. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please don't forget to give it a like. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. I try to push out a video every week, usually fashion oriented or um, home interior design. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.